this first year wasn't the greatest year for me. Hey guys, so good morning. I look like trash right now, but I'm about to go to the gym. Hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. I'm home alone right now, and I'm obviously very bored on this beautiful Sunday. I woke up this morning and literally cleaned my whole apartment. Little Nike hat, looking adorbs. Got the Gymshark attire, Gymshark pants with a Lululemon shirt. Guys, it's so hot today. I'm using my phone right now to film, and then I don't want to bring my big ass camera to the gym. But guys, it's so hot today. That is hot for Canada in September. I'm in pants, like, over it. I'm over it, man, I'm over it. But anyways, I'm gonna go to the AC gym, come home, shower, eat some protein, and then film a little tip and trick segment for you guys. <laughs> A good leg day workout. I'm gonna eat this protein bar. It's called Fulfill. This is a coconut chocolate vitamin and protein bar. 20 grams of protein, 9 grams of vitamins, and low sugar. I got these in England. We fell in love with them. I think they're the best protein bars I've ever eaten. They don't taste anything like protein, and they're really good. But I can't get them in Canada. I don't know how to get them. So, like, if anyone knows? Fulfill coconut. Don't mind my disgusting nails. I'm getting them redone tomorrow. Hi guys. Post gym home back on the good camera no more iphone for this vlog at least hopefully it's probably the best investment i made this year was a shower cap it has little pugs on it or bears i don't really know forever 21 bitches get it before it's gone about my tips and tricks for first year. first year experience wasn't the best and it could have been better but I didn't know these certain tips and tricks that could have made it better so this is why I'm doing this video my first semester wasn't good like it made me literally so anxious it made me want to drop out of school but my second semester I bounced back got out of this funk and made it better I have really bad social anxiety and that really contributed to me not being social enough and first year you need to be so social to make friends and reach out to everyone and that caused me to feel like i had no one there for me no friends i came into my university not knowing anyone but i love the school so i came anyways but i had a really good roommate her name's angie and she was fantastic however she went home a lot because she lived in guelph also but like i don't blame her for that at all like i would go home if i lived really close but that caused me to go home too and that caused me to be more at home rather than at school trying to make friends and make my first year memorable so that really messed me up first semester and that gave me more anxiety like i would just stay in my room the days i had off i wasn't eating enough it was just really bad my anxiety was really bad for shit i wanted to drop out of school i wanted to switch schools i really hated it and then second semester came along and i kind of got to got out of this funk i just got out of a bad breakup breakup relationship i don't know exclusively together but no title one of those whack ass millennial things that happens and that kind of set me on track to get my body better to get my health better to get my mental health better to get my actual physical health better and i also met lauren I'm actually seeing her earlier today so you always will meet her in the vlog she was in my philosophy seminar and she was a very outgoing person so she came into my life and made me our outgoing and we're super close like she's one of my best friends but i really don't want any of my viewers anyone that i know to go through what i went through because i really wish i did a lot of things differently 
So here are a few tips and tricks on how to make your first year better. Number one is to be social outgoing. Every single person in first year is in the same boat as you. They are in the same boat, floating on the same water of freshman year. Okay, to be outgoing. You can't be like me and be socially awkward and have social anxiety the whole time because you're not gonna make friends. If you don't leave a room, you're not gonna make friends. You have to be so social. You gotta go up to people, sit with them, be like, hey, what's up? Try to make friends with anyone you can. You're, you're gonna like some of them or you're gonna hate some of them, but that's like the learning experience. That's what happened with Lauren. Lauren literally reached, talked to me through the fruit bar and was like, hey, like, wanna study for philosophy? And I thought she was so weird for doing this, but then afterwards I was like, thinking about it, I was like, that's really smart to do, like, ask people in your small classes to study together. And we clicked and now we're best friends. Like, it worked out really well for us. So you have to be social. Even if you have anxiety about it, even, think, even if you think you're gonna be weird, you're not. Everyone in first year is in the same boat. My second tip is to exercise. Exercise is so goddamn important, okay? So important. It produces endorphins, it makes you happier, gives your heart health, makes you feel better about yourself. Especially with freshman 15 or freshman 50 creeping up on you, you gotta, you gotta work out, man. I got a gym membership. First semester, I didn't really use it. Second semester, after my like breakup, I went ham at the gym. Like I went to the gym every single day. And it helped me a lot, honestly. I love going now. And honestly, like, the gym's a really intimidating place when you first start going. So, you know, stick to what you're comfortable with first year. I stuck to the treadmills and the exercise and then the little corner, did my little weights. But I would never go near the weight room or anything because those mans are scary. Little bulk ass tree trunks, I swear to God. But yeah, exercise is very important. I literally dropped psychology the day before the midterm of first year. So middle of October I dropped psychology and it was my major with a co-op so that's how you know you can switch no matter what the day before my psych midterm I was crying on the bathroom floor about how anxious I was and I was like nope psych is not for me and now I'm in political science I switched that day I was in political science I was felt much better myself and now I'm trying to switch into criminology but first year your your major does not define what program you're going to be in it does not define who you are at all you have always have the opportunity to switch tip is to get involved. The best thing you can do for yourself, I think, is to get involved with clubs. The one thing I did was get involved in horse riding. I love horse riding, so I just, I just did lessons once a week with a group of girls, and it helped me a lot to get out of my house, to get me out, do some exercise, and I wish I joined other clubs. I wish I did more env environmental clubs that met once a week, or like a women's group, or like a feminist group, something like that. I wish I did that first year, and I'm trying to get more involved second year. Fifth tip is to try your best to stay healthy. Guys, please, for me, take your goddamn vitamins. Take them. Take your echinacea, take your vitamin C, take your B12, take your vitamin D, take your hot water extract mushroom complex. Take all that because freshman flu is going to sneak up on you and bite you in the ass if you don't. I got sick so much first semester, first year. Even if you don't get sick ever, I get sick all the time, so like, I'm biased. But even if you don't get sick, you're gonna get sick first year. Just all the vents of living in res, everyone's sick. You guys all share the same air. Especially around exam season, when you're stressed, your immune system goes down. So you're gonna be extremely sick. And that's the worst timing for exam season. My next tip is to try your best to wake up around the same time every day. I know it's difficult when you have classes at different times. Like sometimes you have 8.30, sometimes you have 10.30. So I understand sleeping in those days. But try your best, especially on weekends, to wake up at a similar time. It'll give you more time to do things during the day and just help you overall as a student and a person. Like, I struggled a lot because some days I would sleep until one o'clock and sometimes I would sleep until nine and it really messed up my sleeping schedule. Also try to go to bed around a certain time. I know it's different on weekends and when you're studying late at night, but it will help you a lot with your mental health and your physical health. Sleep is important, but trying to wake up around a good time every day, like now in second year, I try and wake up around nine every day because I don't have any early classes, but I want to get into the gym. I want to be able to do work, do my readings, get everything done before it's late at night because I'd rather go to bed early than stay up and binge the whole night on work because that would actually ruin me mentally. My tips and tricks, that's like a little small portion of tips and tricks that I have. Um, if you guys want an actual like full out university experience i'll do that later probably this is just like a little summarization of my university experience let's continue with the vlog shall we hey guys back at it again guess who's here hey hello hello little girl Hey guys, 
guys, my hair is looking super cute right now. But I'm probably gonna close. <laughs> <laughs> the rat tail. Wow. Probably gonna close off the vlog right now because it's getting late and dark and we're studying and gonna go get food soon. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed my tips and tricks for first year. Uh <laughs> if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe and comment what you want uh, what else you guys wanted me to do. But yeah, bye guys. Bye! <laughs>